What happens when you feed Nano Banana Pro 10 reference images at once? So in this video, I'm gonna take a blank floor plan and feed it these 10 reference images and see if it can render the floor plan correctly. So let's get started. So what I've got here is I've got a mural board and I've created a key plan just to tell Nano where each reference image will go. But this is just to give it some guidance because in the real world, you know, when we're dealing with clients, they're gonna tell us, you know, hey, I want this spec here. This is the spec for so-and-so. So I'm gonna throw it a little bone here. So let's hop over to the Gemini and I'm gonna start a new chat and I'm gonna drop this prompt in and I'll break it down. And basically the prompt is generate a photorealistic floor plan using these reference images and the key plan and I'm giving it some extra details and I'm also giving it some constraints saying hey I don't want you to change anything related to this floor plan so let's see if it listens I'm gonna drag in my references do note it can only support 10 files at the same time so that's what that little warning was but you can see we've got our accent chairs the floor plan the study master bedroom the key master bathroom mud room powder room and this one, I'm gonna throw a little curveball in there because this is much bigger than the powder room that I've got there, a sofa and the stool reference. So let's send this off. So it's come back with this image. At first glance, it looks pretty good, but let's do a side-by-side -side comparison and give it a little critique and see if it actually listened. So I'm over back in Miro and I've got my reference image here and I've got the key up here. So let's start with the top left corner and we'll move our way through. So first off, it looks like it got a little confused about the sofa and the accent chairs. So you see how I've got accent chairs here? And I'm gonna start marking this up so you can see this a little bit better. So I got these instead of a sofa, but it did give me the sofa over here with the pillow, which is something I wanted. So that's great, that looks awesome. And it did give me the correct accent chairs. So it wins there and it did do the correct wood floor. Like, look at this, this looks beautiful here. And it looks like it did the marble. And the marble was a little bit of a trick because I actually didn't give it the original reference image. I just said, hey, the marble is on this key plan, you figure it out. So good job there. Just looking at some of the geometry here, this is a doorway. It actually did that. So I'll give it kudos there. It added the fridge. Okay, kudos there, kitchen, window, that's all there. Dishwasher, you know, added bonus for adding that in there. It's missing a pantry here. Okay, little X there. Now moving down the dining area, I think it kind of got the table right. And what about the chairs? The chairs it got the backing wrong. So this is actually a wood, wood chair with like this dark fabric, you know, maybe leather kind of a seat. Eh, it got the dark part, but it didn't get the back right. So we'll give it a little X there. So it's kind of like hit or miss so far. It's like it's doing like a decent job, but not perfect. So let's see study. Study, I mean, it did match the actual design of the chair. Look at that. Like this is what the dining chair should have looked like, right? It even brought the rug in. It brought the shelf in, the desk. Okay, you win here in this room, Nana Banana. Now the bedroom, bedroom looks pretty good. I mean, it added this thing, the tough thing in the back. It even did its own version of this artwork. You see that here? So that's very cool. The bed, you know, pretty much the same. You know, it did change the color of like, you know, this little ottoman thing, but it brought in the rug and everything. But overall, it took the inspiration and it, it did a good job there. Can't argue there. So now let's move over to the master bath. Master bath seems like it got a little, little creative. It added a bathtub here. That's no good. This is a shower, right? Turned this closet into a shower. So no go there. But it did a good job with the, the vanity here and it did add a shower head here. It definitely got a little confused and I kind of did this on purpose because I wanted to give it some extra detail. Like there is no bathtub in this bathroom, right? But I wanted to see if it was smart enough to know, okay, he's showing me the tile, the vanity and the shower, not the bathtub. So I, it did get a little confused there. So walk-in closet, I gave no info there, but it read the room name. It did a phenomenal job actually. Then moving over here, our powder room completely obliterated if you can't see that it's like this this view facing us so it would basically be like the floor so the vanity is on the floor like a pretty trippy uh, room layout if you ask me um yeah this is this is wrong but this was also another little test to see if it would be able to shrink this vanity to fit right here eh, didn't do a good job so give that a big x now the mud room the final piece of the puzzle it did our, you know, our checker floor here. It did do the wood bench and everything, but it did get a little confused by the doorway right here, right? 
look, there's a door right here. You can't have a doorway opening into a bench. So give it a little X there. We'll give it a check mark here because I made this part up. But it did a very good job kind of respecting the original design. You know, sure it did some weird things over here, but that did, you know, keep in mind, come from the inspiration image. But you could see there's a good mix of check marks and X's. So is it usable? Not 100%. Does it require some regenerations? Yeah, absolutely. And here's the reality. This image, it took me about a dozen or so tries to actually get to something decent. So that did take a lot of time. But let's say that time, that's 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes of my time. If I had to 3D model this and do it from scratch, I mean, we're talking 10 hours plus for all of this. So yeah, is it a pain in the butt that it got some things wrong and you gotta keep you know, doing your slot machine and seeing what's gonna come out? Yes, but 20 minutes, half an hour versus, you know, 10 plus hours. I mean, there's a huge time savings there. So I'll say references, it's doing a pretty good job, but I think you need to cater the reference image to be more suitable for the actual condition. And what I mean by that is I should, you know, going forward, use a bathroom picture that didn't have a bathtub. I don't want to confuse it, right? For the powder room, I probably should use a vanity that was smaller, you know, more appropriate for that room. So you see what I'm saying? Make sure your reference images make sense for that space. Don't expect it to, you know, understand exactly what you're talking about. And I didn't give it the longest prompt ever. You know, I give it a, a decent prompt, but it did, you know, overall understand the idea of what I wanted and, you know, I can't really, can't really argue with that. I mean, if we were to just do one last comparison, just look at all the windows. The windows are all pretty much in the same spot. Look at that. All the pairings in the front, that's all there. So it did, for the most part, do everything I wanted, um, and then some. So really promising to see. I mean, I've been saying, I mean, I've been covering all this AI stuff for so long, but I was saying this is the one thing I'm worried about in terms of like it affecting ArcViz, because if you think of the, the architect, the designer that's doing the visualizations or even the ArcViz artist, you're given like hundreds of specs that you have to kind of formulate or synthesize and put into one spot. But now with every single version of Nano Banana, you know, Pro 10, whatever, in a couple of years, how many references is it gonna support? A thousand? So that's where I think it can get a little scary where you know, ArcViz could be impacted a lot more by AI. It's good to be on top of these tools. So anyways, if you have questions about this, let me know in the comments, I'll get back to you. And as always, please consider liking and subscribing. See you next time.